This hack tip's brought to you by Squarespace. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're piping something into another thing and making some stuff happen. More specifically, we're playing with an open source text to speech system and extending its command line functionality into the GUI world. And I have to give mad props to John Green for sending some of this stuff by because it's really, really, really cool stuff. If you're not sure what I'm talking about already, the open source text to speech engine obviously. Festival. It's so cool. It's a multilingual speech synthesis system. It's originally developed by Alan Black at the Center for Speech Technology Research at the University of Edinburgh, and additional contributions have been made by Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, and it's so cool because it supports text to speech APIs, among other things like a command line interface for ex ex extensions, has uh, support for English both British and American, as well as Welsh, Spanish, and you can even find packages for Finnish, Polish, Russian, what have you, to name a few. And if that wasn't enough, the whole thing is published under the BSD license, meaning it's free, it's open source. Hooray! We can make our computers talk for free, just like in war games, where Joshua is all like, would you like to play a game? And it'll actually kind of sound like that. So to get started, we're going to need a few packages. And first of all, obviously, Festival. So, you know, if you're in a, uh, Debian based OS where you have apt, then um, you know, apt get install festival. I already have it, don't need to do that, but that's the obvious first step. So now that we have that, we can actually do like a quick little demo. I'm just going to need a text file here. We'll, uh, we'll echo, uh, do you want to play a game into a file called uh, test2? Because test1 is usually already taken. So, uh, now it's just a matter of running from the command line festival tac tac tts and then my file. Do you want to play a game? There you go, we made our computer talk. How cool is that? Now of course, this would be so much cooler if we could extend it past just the command line and into like the web. So say for example, you're on a website and you don't feel like looking at your computer screen but you do want to read like an article, you could select the whole article, hit a key combo, have a computer read too while you're off playing Mario Brothers on your Nintendo DS or something, I don't know, whatever it is you do. Now to do that, it's pretty easy. All we need is a bash script and a little program called Excel. Excel is gonna allow us to take the selection from X or X Windows, our GUI in Linux, and uh, and pipe that into a program in Bash like we normally would like in the command line, which is pretty cool because we don't actually have to do some hackery where we actually uh, take something out of the clipboard. So we're actually not messing with the clipboard at all. It's only allowing us to select something in the GUI and then pipe that over into a program. So pretty nifty tool. If you don't already have it, it's a matter of apt-get install Excel, I've already done that, don't need to. So anyway, now with that done, we just need to make our bash script. So in this case, we're going to cat, and then I've got two walkers into my cat, EOF for end of file, and then I'm going to uh, walk that into a file that we're gonna call talk.sh, because I'm not feeling very creative right now, I guess. So this is pretty cool. If you haven't used this method, this is neat because it allows us to create a script right here in the command line without having to go into Vi, Nano, Emacs, Gedit, Notepad, through Wine. I don't know why you would do that. But uh, it's pretty neat because, you know, rather than just like echo, quote, and then hit enter, and then, you know, do a file, it's very similar. It's just, it's neat that I can, I know, it's like copy con and DOS. I'm getting really excited about the fact that I can cat file text into a file. So let's go ahead and move on. Shebang slash bin slash bash. Great way to start any uh, shell script. And then Excel. And then we're going to pipe that into festival. Tac tac TTS, just like before. Except this time, we're just going to have to add one more parameter. So easy. Tac tac pipe to let festival know it's going to read what was piped into it. That's it. Now I type EOF, it saves a file, and there we go. Of course, we're going to have to chmod it, uh, plus X to make it executable, and we'll uh, talk.sh. So now we can actually run it. Now, if we run it right now, it's not going to do anything because we don't have anything selected in X. So for us to be able to run it while we have something selected, the easiest way is actually to add a keyboard modifier. 
And this is pretty cool because now I'm going to be able to select a keyboard combo. Just go to a web page, like here we go, I have example.com, one of my favorite websites. And I can select this information here about the RFC and why example.com and example.org exist. And if I have those selected, let's uh, go ahead and create our, uh, our um, uh, keyboard shortcut here. And so under preferences, and this is for GNOME, of course, if you're in KDE, it's a different uh, method. But in GNOME, you go to System Preferences and Keyboard Shortcuts. And then I can click Add here and create my own keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to call this TTS for text-to-speech. And the command is slash home slash Darren slash talk dot sh. That file we just created. I apply that and we'll see all the way down here. Here it is, but it's disabled. Now if I click here, it's going to add, ask me to create a new shortcut. Well, I want it to be easy to type and I don't want it to kind of mess with any other shortcuts. So I'm going to use mod 4 otherwise known as super. And if you're at home, sit along with me, it's the Windows key. Yeah, I know, right? So hold down the Windows key and hit, I'm gonna choose C for copy, except it's not copy because that would be control. Anyway, real easy keyboard shortcut for me to remember. And just go ahead and close this. So now, with my script there, and my script is CH modded with plus X, so it's executable, I've added it to my, uh, my keyboard shortcuts and I've got something selected in X, so really, as described in RFC 2606, we maintain a number of domains, such as example.com and example.org. And if you're bored, you can read some RFCs. I'm just saying, they're out there. Plenty of them. Now, in just a bit, we're going to talk about some little gotchas, some quirks, some ways to make this our own. But first, we're going to take a quick break. Going to take a quick moment to thank our awesome sponsor, Squarespace. And I'm sure by now you've heard of Squarespace. You know that they are the fastest and easiest way to get a website, a blog, any kind of professional site up on the internet. And I just wanted to let you know they got some new stuff. 13 template redesigns, 85 new styles, two brand new themes. As you guys know, they've got iPhone apps, iPad apps, now Android app. It's so easy to like integrate cool things, modules for like, like slideshows, for example. Uh, I know for instance, I just turned my sister onto this who's using this to show off some of her crafting stuff and I honestly recommended it because not just because they're a sponsor but because it's so easy to use. You don't have to write any code and get this fully hosted nothing to install so you don't need to worry about like maintaining patches and things of that sort. It's all taken care of you. Go over to squarespace.com and get 15% off for the next six months when you enter the coupon code HAK52. Now right off the bat, I'm gonna save some of you a lot of time when it comes to this little error called Linux can't open slash dev slash DSP. It's not gonna to happen to all of you depending on your sound card and whatnot, but there's a quick and easy fix. I'm gonna go ahead and use nano here to open up my dot uh, festival RC file, and this is in your home directory. It doesn't exist by default, so go ahead and create that. And these are the two commands that you're going to need to make everything happy again. So I'm just putting this out there, set those parameters. Also, you may be wondering to yourself, like, hey Darren, that's a really cool nifty thing, except this text-to-speech guy, he speaks really, 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 really slow. I want him to talk faster, and I'd be like, well, yeah, I know, right? Doesn't everybody want to talk faster? Isn't that why you guys tune in? Because we talk really fast and it's a lot of fun, right? Okay, well, anyway, the place where you fix that is in slash USR slash share slash festival slash voices and then in my case it's English what's in here and then it's in Cal Diphone and then you're going to find a uh, another directory in here called Festvox and if we uh, G edit because why don't we give some G edit love going on uh, this file called cal underscore diphone.scm and we're going to need an ampersand there and also I'm going to need to gk sudo this because this file my user can't touch because I'm not root but if I gk sudo it it'll happen and then it's all pretty and happy and there you go extra hack tip because now you know that you can totally like sudo something in KDE or with GK, gk with anyway in GNOME you can open something with root that way. Uh, what I'm looking for is stretch. And if I come down here, I see it's 1.1, and I could just change this to like 0.4. The lower you go, the faster it gets. So now with that saved, I can come back over to my IANA and select something, or I'll select the whole thing, and Windows key C. At this point, 
Yeah, we all got that, right? Okay, that we should be done. Great, that was that was wonderful. You know, there's nothing I love more than open source technology and piping stuff and combining stuff and just making it really, really cool. What I love even more than Festival and TTS is hearing how you guys use the technology, what you think of it, what you would like to put it to use for, if you've got other cool scripts, I'd love to hear from you guys. All you have to do is comment below or just hit us up, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to head over to our sister show at hak5.org, tune in for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust. My uh, vi is broken. <laughs>